In this Click Reach review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software Click Reach. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below, and I'll also be sure to leave a discount and link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Click Reach. Click Reach can create hyper personalized cold emails and automate follow ups that get replies like clockwork. This is what you should see once you're first signed up or even logging in again. So this is the main dashboard page and for any beginners there's a lot going on but I want to quickly go through each feature and then throughout the review I'm going to dive deeper into each feature. So straight off the bat up in the top left hand corner is the click reach logo. If you click this it should take you to the main page and that's a pretty cool feature that a lot of softwares do have. To the right of that we have the dashboard, to the right of that we have campaigns, contacts, templates and settings. This top bar is just where everything is pretty much held, where all the main areas are accessible to. And you can go through and actually click on any of these once we move through the software. Then all the way to the right of that we have the account section and if you click on them you can go into your profile or even log out if you wish to do so. So currently we are on the dashboard page like it says here and this is pretty much the main dashboard page. So there's a lot going on like your analytics and all of your data that's running through this software. So I'm going to quickly go through this dashboard page and dive deeper into each of these features. So below this little dashboard section right here we have the total campaigns which is zero for us right now and the total subscribers. To the right of that we actually have a campaign overview which is a really cool feature so once you actually first start coming onto the software and coming onto it again and again once you've done things on it you can see your overview for your software and your account. So all the way to the right of that, we have the last seven days, this week, last week, this month, last month, this year, and all. So you can see different time periods on your campaign overview to see when things are actually happening. Just like a calendar, we have the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then down here, we have some color-coded areas where you can see once data actually starts popping up, you'll see what is actually color coded. So green is what's been sent, purple or pink is what's been opened, blue is what's been clicked, green is what's been replied, and then orange is bounced. So there you go, it's pretty self-explanatory, just take a look over it, see what works, and you can go ahead and see your campaign overview. Below all that though, we then have more analytics and more data that would be processed here. We have total sent, total opens, total clicks, total replies, total bounces, and total unsubscribers. Below that we have the unsubscribing rate, bounce rate, reply rate, click rate, open rate, and the sending rate. So that is pretty much it for the dashboard page. This is just where all the data from the software actually runs through. So there's not much going on here since we haven't actually started anything yet. All the way back up to the top, to the right of the dashboard section, we then have the campaigns. So once we click on that, it should take us to this page and this page should load where your campaigns would be held. Right here we have zero because we haven't actually started any yet, but this is where your campaigns would show once you have created a new campaign. So to create a new campaign, all you want to go ahead and do is go ahead to the top right hand corner here where my mouse is and click create a new campaign. Once you have done that, this page should then load up where it says create a new campaign and you can also see your campaign list if you want. Below that we then have the campaign's name, sending account, recipient list, and then below that we have the email templates. So we now have the campaign name. We can go ahead and name that. And we'll go ahead and just name it reviews for the sake of this review. And then below that we then have the sending account. We don't actually have anything to send it to, so we're gonna go ahead and leave these two blank. Below that we now have the select email template. And again, we don't have a template, so we gotta to have to leave that blank right now. And this is how you'd write a normal email. So you can go ahead and actually write your email subject here, just like you would write a normal email. And then the email content, just like a normal one as well. So let's say we're writing about a phone business. You go ahead and just type phone business. That's just off the top of my head. Below that, we then have the email content where you go ahead and type whatever about the phone business. Should be like new stock is being ordered anything random it doesn't really matter it would obviously apply to you better once you're actually running something through this so then you go ahead and click add reply once you are happy with what you've written and then down here you can actually go ahead and schedule the campaign if you want to so you can schedule it here you can choose it to run continuously or you can also set a date right here and it opens up a little calendar where you can go ahead and click whatever days right below that we have then the set campaign launch date if you want to go ahead and actually set a launch date from a certain date and actually end it at a certain date as well. Below that we have days to send emails and then we have the days of the week that you can actually send the emails. Same with the time to send emails. You go ahead and select the time 
on those days and then select the time when it finishes. So let's go ahead and select a bit of data. Let's just say, uh, let's say Wednesday the 4th and we'll go ahead and select Tuesday and Friday and then just set a time as well to a random time just so we have some data to actually save. So once you're actually happy with what you have inputted into the campaign creation, you can go ahead and actually click start or even save. We can't actually click save because we don't have any things up here like the sending account but this is where you go ahead and then click save. Next, back on this page, once you've actually created your campaign, it would then start appearing here. And now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the contacts back up in the top right of the campaigns. Once you click on contacts, it is the same layout as the campaign section. You have your contact lists, where they'd be listed right here. You can go ahead and change all or archived. And then to the right of that, we have create a new list. So once you've clicked on that, it brings up this little mini page, unlike the campaign page, it brings up like this little mini one. We can go ahead and actually type in a list name and the details. So again, let's just say list name review, just random words. And then we're gonna go ahead and type in some details, just for reviews again. So you go ahead and click save once you are happy with it. And then it says list has been saved successfully. Then you can go ahead and it should load up this page again where you now have your first contact list. This is obviously, it would be more thought out for you guys, but for me, it's just to run through the features. You have the list name review or the name of your list. When it was created right below it, then you have the contacts, email sent, opened, replied, unsubbed, bounced, and clicked. All the way over here, you have some features like the activity log, export this list, edit list, unarchived, and you can also delete it if you want to. You can go ahead and just click edit like that. It comes up with the edit section. Same with the others, you can delete it and it should say you can delete it if you want to. So you can keep going through this, keep creating new lists and just running through it over and over again if you want to. Next, back up in the top bar of this section, you can move on to the template section now, which is what we're going to do. Once you click on templates, it should load up this page where you now have your email templates. We have the blacklist, variables, email templates, sending accounts, email signatures, profile settings, and subscription. This is just where everything can actually be created within the software, like again, all these profile settings and email templates. So on the email templates, we have the template label email subject and the email content. You can go ahead and actually label for identification. Let's just label it reviews like we have been doing throughout this review. And then write your email subject if you want to. We're just gonna go ahead and write reviews. Same with this, just put some text in there. Again, you would actually write a more thought out email, content and subject for whoever you are emailing to. But again, we're just going with the simplistic version. Once you are happy with what you wrote out, you go ahead and then click save. Now my email template has been saved successfully and now we have the template we have actually created down here. So we can go ahead and actually delete any of them if we want or even edit any of them. Below that we actually have the sending accounts as well which you can click on and you can go ahead and fill out this information if you want to as well. And then same with the email signatures, you have your signature label, signature variable and your signature content. You can go ahead and fill this out if you need to but it isn't really a need within the software. So now all the way back at the campaign section, once we've actually been through the rest of the software, this should now work more thoroughly. So we're gonna go ahead and click create a new campaign again, enter the same campaign name, let's just name reviews. And now we can actually have a recipient list, the one we actually created. So you then click that, the one you created in the contacts. And then same with the email template, we now have the one we created. And when we select it, it actually creates an email template so you don't have to keep doing the same write-up over and over again. A really great feature personally, now we have the email subject and email content automatically filled in. You can go ahead and then again select when you actually want to run your campaign. So we'll select a few different dates and times just so we can go ahead and save it and then we click save. So now all the way back at the campaign section where we actually created it, we now have our campaign that would start sending out emails to our recipient list. So we now have what it's called, when it was created, contacts, total, sent, open, replied, unsub, bounce, and clicked. You can go ahead and edit these, see the report, see the sequence overview, and delete it and export it if you want to. And that's pretty much it with this software. And there you go, that is it for the Click Reach software review. Overall, I think it's a really great software, and there's a few features that I personally really like. Those features is how easy it is to actually start creating your email campaigns, and how good it is that it actually features an automatic fill-in setting. Like the templates we actually inputted, once you click your template, it automatically fills it out, so you don't have to go ahead and keep doing the same email 
over and over again. It's a really great feature and personally I like it. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Anyone who's professional looking for a software like this, this is probably one of the best out there. Would I use this myself? Yes, I would. Again, I really like the features, so I would use this myself. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.